The applause for Jessica Cedillos was not unexpected since she and her classmates enrolled in a brand new information technology program routinely take apart damaged computers, put them back together, and have them work as good as new. Fairmont Heights High School's IT course, with 70 students spread over three ninth grade classes, has been designed with just one goal in mind that all the students will ultimately qualify as IT professionals. This year, uh, we have ninth grade students, and our focus on the ninth grade is basically computer repair and operating systems. So we're working through this year, we're developing skills so children can build, repair, troubleshoot, take a look at a computer and determine what's wrong with it. And at the end of this course, or through the course, our hope is that each one of these children will become certified. So whether it's a processor, a soundboard, a CPU, or an optical drive, the Fairmont IT students soon learn to identify and use them all in the classroom and just on the other side of the wall in the school system's technology distribution center. Having access to such a unique in-house work-study program with adult mentors has been great for the children and the grown-ups too. The students are actually doing the warranty work on items, items that I've actually been doing and it took me years and years to learn and to get to this point in my life and they are learning it right here, right now and in high school. I'm impressed, they seem to really know their way around. These kids that are doing the work, these are some of the kids that even volunteer themselves to come after school and do some of this work. So these are some good students and they've already got many, many hours doing this so far. So. I, I was impressed myself the first time seeing them do this and they also do really love it so yeah. it's good. You can tell. We have two things going on here so on the other side of the wall we have operations going on and there's been a lot of work over there but the classroom has been great. The children have been wonderful, we're very excited about it and, and, and the children are excited about working in with, with IT, comparing uh, computers and working with us so it's been a lot of fun in that sense. There may be a lot of fun but there is also plenty of intensity and a high level of professionalism. As the students repair damaged motherboards and replace broken LCD panels with the skills of a surgeon. What's wrong with this computer? Uh, well, it was damaged and you could see purple. Oh yeah. Yes. I guess they spilled something on it. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it was cracked. Yeah. What is it about this that you really enjoy? Um, I really like just when I don't know how to do something, looking around to see what I did wrong and what I missed, and like when I find the problem that I have, when I fix it, it feels much better than just knowing how to do everything and just blowing through it. Learning is better than knowing everything. Why did you enroll in this class? Well, I really lo like technology. Like, I just want to be like the next Bill Gates or the next Steve Jobs, you know? Cyrus and his classmates could very well be the next IT superstars and get paid very well along the way since their subsequent coursework is designed for increasingly sophisticated certification. A computer repairman can demand, you know, forty to fifty thousand right off the bat. So once they're certified and they have that experience, th they can go out and get a, a good job. Um, but we're looking at expanding that. So in the tenth grade, and the eleventh grade, and twelfth grade, we're looking at for the for the engineering piece of it, if you will, we're looking at uh, continued certification. So we're looking at Microsoft certification to become a Microsoft Systems Engineer, and we're looking at Cisco certification to become a CCNA. And these opportunities provide uh, up in the in in the range of 75,000 once they get that experience and they get those certifications. But for now, as students work hard and dream big, the challenge is to learn as much as they can and not sweat the small stuff, which when it comes to computers can be very small indeed. The main thing I had to work at is getting all these screws out. That's the most, that's the horrible part about it, all these screws. and. Actually, I haven't had one time where I've had all the screws put back in. 
because they're so hard to keep track of. <laughs> Loose screws notwithstanding, the IT students at Fairmont and their dedicated teachers deserve hearty congratulations for a job well done. For channels 96 and 38, this is Dave Zarin reporting.